everyone my name is Praveen in this video we will be looking about the important terms and definitions of food packaging it's all uh, you might call it glossary also these things I have selected very very important things like uh, something like very important definitions uh, which could help you in uh, MCQs or two or false or whatever whatever you need to know you need to know the basics of the food packaging and so I have uh, decided to give the glossary in the form of important terms and definition so now let's go into the video uh, first let us start with very basic things like packaging what is packaging what is packing and uh, what are the basic packing materials we will now look into it uh, though you know that uh, the packaging and packing those two terms they might look similar but they have a vast difference between them the term packaging it's actually it is the outer layer that encloses the main product okay uh, it is the outer layer that encloses the main product it is intended for protective casing uh, so say consider i will give you a very small i mean a uh, very common example you might be knowing uh, some uh, coffee chocolates okay this coffee chocolates they might be having an inner wrap that's in the color of white paper okay it's a primary packaging or it's called packing and there might be outer packaging also outer also there will be a pack uh, which will be a covering and they will be twisting it so the inner pack first with uh, first one which is packed is called the pack that is packing or uh, outer thing is called packaging so to be precise the packaging is the one that is the outer layer please remember it is the outer layer that encloses the main product it's intended for productive casing okay then comes packing uh, <coughs> it has activity of including additional productive material inside packaging box okay uh, the thing is that it is the same thing that encloses i mean it comes immediately after the food material is the packing and it is also used for giving productive uh, layer inside the packaging box for the pa product okay it also serves as a function of additional productive material so please understand try to understand the difference between the packaging and packing they are two completely different terms and then absorbent packing absorbent packing is nothing but it's a material inside a package it is used to absorb liquid from product like uh, you might have seen uh, something like a uh, white product inside some uh, pharmaceutical like tablets or something like you might be uh, seeing some white color thing white color pouch or something like they are actually they are actually meant for absorbing the moisture absorbing the moisture this uh, similar way in absorbent packing is a thing that is a material inside a package and that is used to absorb liquids from the product this is called the uh, absorbent packaging <coughs> it actually the thing is that it absorbs liquid from the product uh, sorry it absorbs liquid from the product and uh, you might have seen in pro products like meat rays they might have kept, uh, kept something like a plastic liner which is used as an absorbent packaging they actually the primary function of this material is called it is used to uh, absorb the moisture or whatever from the product and it it has to protect the outer protective layer from moisture okay they will absorb the moisture within them and they won't let the moisture to go out of the product okay then um, permeability permeability it is a property of a packaging material to allow the diffusion of gases or liquids through them okay permeability in the simple terms it means a permeability that is a property to allow something to go inside or out okay the pro uh, permeability it is a property of pack that is a pro property of a packaging material uh, it might be packaging material or it might be a container also okay the, the property that property to allow the diffusion of gases or liquids through them that is called the permeability that is simple definition of permeability is that uh, the property to allow liquids or gases to pass through them that is a simple definition okay <coughs> then aseptic packaging aseptic packaging is the pro process of bringing together a sterilized product and a sterilized packaging material actually what they do still uh, aseptic packaging completely happens in a sterile environment actually the th things involved should be sterile the basic thing is that the things involved should be sterile they are being bringing the sterilized product they are bringing the sterilized packaging material and they are packing it in st under sterile conditions the three things please remember that the, the container should be sterile the product should be sterile and the environment should be sterile okay that is aseptic packaging where they are bringing these three things and packing that is the aseptic packaging material uh, then boiling bag a bag uh, <coughs> that is boiling bag this package 
this packaging material boil in bag whatever is it is a bag it's made of heat resistant material okay and uh, it's designed to hold a food product and allow the user to bring the food product to boiling temperature you might have seen uh, uh, like uh, things like uh, tea bags okay those tea bags actually they may be ma made of this kind of material like boil in bag material where the user can bring it uh, to the hot tea which is boiling and they could use that this thing is a boil in bag thing okay this tea bags and another thing is that uh, they might be using for frozen entries or vegetables also this boil in bag is also used okay then uh, breathing package the package that allows the air to pass inside or outside of it in controlled conditions okay the varying condition they might be uh, allowing the, uh, the allowing the gases that is oxygen in uh, controlled condition they may be allowing for the betterment of the product because some product needs uh, to respirate as you know some uh, fruits or vegetables they might be resp uh, respiration might be happening even after harvesting also so in that case we are using this kind of breathing packaging material so it's a package material that lets the air to go inside of the inside or outside of the packet so mostly they are using it in uh, meat packets okay uh, the meat packet uh, so in the if they need to keep the proper color of the meat they need to use this kind of package material to allow and uh, stop the passage of air in certain conditions next is delicacy delicacy scene paper it is a paper it's an inner wrap for meats and it's for soft food to retain the moisture in the food okay that's a simple thing please remember that uh, it's a packaging material that is uh, used for inner wrap for meats and for soft food to retain the moisture in the food and to prevent the outer wrapper from becoming wet okay uh, actually what this kind of paper do they actually absorb the moisture themselves and they don't allow the moisture to come out of it okay the outer packaging le uh, level even if the product inside is very much wet or moisture they won't allow the moisture to come out of the product so that is a function of the delicatessen paper okay uh, then glassing the glassing it is made from uh, wood pulp S simply remember that it is a product it is a chemical wood pulp it is a grease resistant semi transparent and it is made from chemical wood pulp uh, they may be waxed or they may be laminated okay uh, okay please remember they are made of chemical wood pulp that is uh, glassing uh, please remember simple things like uh, what is glassing glassing is a thing which is made of uh, chemical pulp and it is semi transparent uh, so if you remember small things it will be helpful for you to uh, answer in conditions like mcqs because in mcqs you could math things you could uh, make a good decision while taking a uh, answer while giving an answer so it is uh, very important to remember the basic things uh, next is uh, MAP that is modified atmospheric packaging the modified atmospheric packaging is a process of combination of gases such as oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen that are introduced in the package at the time of closure okay uh, they are doing this thing for the betterment of the product that is inside uh, what they are doing they are modifying the atmosphere inside by uh, passing gases like oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen they are introduced into the packet uh, so whatever uh, product is there like whatever uh, meat is there or vegetable is there whatever they are introducing that at the time of closure and uh, they are maintaining the condition of the product it's a type of processing technique okay uh, it's modified atmospheric package similar way you might know that uh, CAP also CAP is controlled atmospheric package I have not given it here but this is also somewhat similar to uh, modified packaging okay the next is paper drying paper drying is nothing but alignment of fibers in a sheet of paper uh, paper is there the way in which fibers are aligned that is called paper drying okay um, simply remember it is alignment of fibers okay they may be uh, in different dimensions uh, in different dimensions of paper okay next is paraffin wax a paraffin wax is an inert hydrocarbon wax derived from the crude petroleum it is derived from the crude petroleum it's a inert hydrocarbon wax please remember think that it's a inert hydrocarbon wax the main uses uh, we could uh, see for paraffin wax is that it is used for paper coatings okay paper coatings are uh, sometimes like uh, uh, 
uh, for providing glossy surface also we use this paraffin wax so paraffin wax is nothing but in hydrocarbon and it is used for uh, providing glossy surface or something like uh, paper coatings like that okay then ph ph as we all know it is a way of representing acidity or alkalinity in numbers there is a ph it's a simple thing okay it, uh, it's a way of representation in numericals that's acidity or alkalinity of a product acidity or alkalinity of a product is represented in numbers that is ph okay then plasticizer it is a plasticizer is a material that is added to plastic during manufacture to improve the qualities of the final product okay whatever material added to plastic during manufacture that is plasticizer then uh, polluter pays principle okay this polluter pays principle it means that uh, some company uh, uh, some companies manufacturing some product like some packaging material okay then after the use of that packaging material if that is not uh, getting composted okay if that is uh, posing a problem for the environment so in that case the uh, in so in that case the pr uh, person who is who had made the product I, I mean the company who has manufactured it they will be responsible for the uh, disposal or they will be paying uh, for the disposal of the product that is a polluter pays principle uh, the simple thing is that the manufacturer will be responsible for the disposal of the product uh, so in case uh, it is producing some environmental harm he will be paying for that that is a polluter pays principle and polycarbonate uh, polycarbonate is nothing but polyester in which a dihydric phenol are joined through carbonate linkages uh, you could learn it uh, in a very simple way uh, here you could see the word like polycarbonate so what is a polycarbonate it is a polyester in which dihydric phenols are joined through carbonate linkages polycarbonate they are linked through carbonate so kindly remember try to remember by the words itself so it would be easy polycarbonate so joined through carbonate linkages polyester uh, in which dihydric phenols are joined through carbonate linkages try to remember it with the word itself uh, polyester or polyethylene terephthalate it's a uh, plastic resin that is formed by the reaction of that is formed by the reaction of ethylene glycol with terephthalic acid okay plastic resin polyester is very simple you, you, you could get the answer from the word itself PET polyethylene terephthalate so what is a polyethylene terephthalate it is a plastic resin formed by the reaction of ethylene glycol ethylene glycol with terephthalic acid that is a uh, polyethylene terephthalate or polyester then poly ethylene the plastic resin of high molecular weight resulting from the polymerization of ethylene gas uh, it's also in the same way polyethylene is a plastic resin of high molecule weight resulting from the polymerization of ethylene gas polymerization of ethylene gas we get polyethylene there is polymerization poly is here there is polymerization of ethylene gas so we get polyethylene so try to remember that uh, polyethylene is obtained by the polymerization of ethylene gas simple thing uh, next is polylactic acid so what is polylactic acid it's in uh, naturally produced uh, like from uh, biodegradable material uh, naturally produced material like starch okay they are thermoplastic resin they are used for producing rigid transparent packaging material that is polylactic acid the next is polymer uh, it's a complex molecule formed by chemically linking together a number of smaller units uh, smaller units in the sense monomers a large number of monomers are joined to form a polymer okay uh, smaller units are mostly monomers they are complex molecule actually polymer is a complex molecule it is found by chemically linking a number of smaller unit uh, so in packaging there are uh, several things are used for packaging like uh, several words will be coming like uh, polyester uh, polyfilm polycarbonate polyethylene so um, i have i thought to uh, give it in the form of simple definition so it could be useful uh, so polyolefin it's a polymer that is made from unsaturated hydrocarbon please remember polyolefin is a uh, polymer that is made from uh, unsaturated hydrocarbon then polypropylene uh, polypropylene is a plastic derived from the polymerization of propylene and from the word itself you could uh, find that polypropylene is a plastic resin derived from polymerization of propylene another thing is polystyrene it's a polystyrene is a transparent plastic resin derived from the polymerization of styrene polymerization of styrene in the word itself denotes that the transparent plastic resin derived from the polymerization of styrene if you don't know what is polystyrene kindly look into the word you might get the answer from there itself like polystyrene polymerization of styrene we get polystyrene 
The next is polyurethane. It's a plastic material obtained by the reaction of polyester chains with isocyanate. Polyurethane uh, is nothing but it's a poly plastic material obtained by the reaction of polyester chains with isocyanate. Next is porosity. Porosity is a property. It's a property of a whether that is a packaging material or uh, uh, packaging material or the material itself. It's the property of the material to allow air to pass through it under control conditions. <coughs> under control condition, they are uh, allowing the air to pass through in a specific time in a given uh, area. That is, they are given control condition. Okay. Simple thing is that it is a property of the material to allow air to pass through it. Then uh, next is preform. Preform nothing but plastic conversion process in which an injection molded pyrazine is blow molded to form a plastic bottle. Okay, injection. Uh, it's a conversion process for the plastic in in which the molded pyrazine is molded to form a plastic bottle. And uh, next is propping. Propping is a process of converting package for sale. There is a, a uh, when we have manufactured a product and kept it inside a packet. Okay, so now we need to give the details to the consumer. We need to give. Uh, we need to add the things like best before date, date, or uh, name of the manufacturer, or whatever. We need to add the pictures of the product. So this thing is called prepping. It's a process of converting the package for sale. That is adding uh, price marking, other other color codes. And this is the uh, prepping process. Next is process colors. You know process colors. There are different type of process colors. Uh, process colors are used in uh, food industry, packaging industry, and even in uh, newspaper industry also. You might have heard some colors like uh, cyan, magnet oil, loki, cm, oik. Yeah, uh, this thing is called uh, process colors. There is a uh, magneta. It's a mix of red and blue, and cyan. It's a uh, mix of uh, we get by mix of blue and green, and yellow we get it by the mix of red, green, and black. The process colors are simple. There are four colors. You could uh, C M Y K. There is cyan. M is magnata. Y is yellow. K you could give us black. Okay. Process colors. These are four process colors. And active packaging. Active packaging. Packaging that uh, allows itself to change. Uh, protect the contents in different situations. Okay. Or uh, in heat condition that might be changing. In cold condition that might be changing. Uh, the simple thing is tell. Simple thing to tell is that. It's a packaging that changes itself according to the environmental conditions. Then aging. Aging is a process you know very well. It's a developing specific products in a product, special properties in a product. Uh, might be ice cream or meat or cheese or butter. Everything goes under aging. You know that is a pro uh, process of developing specific properties in a product. Air bubble film. Uh, there is a packaging material. This thing is a polythene film that they are joined together in such a way that bubbles are formed. Uh, and they might be used for. Um, or to prevent damage, mm, you could you, you could have seen in not only in food uh, industry but also other uh, industries also uses air bubble film. An active tag, it's a pack identification tag uh, that operate with the aid of battery. The battery might be rechargeable or uh, non rechargeable also. Active tag is nothing but it's an identification tag. Pack identification tag. Please remember that. Active tag is a pack identification tag. Okay, so I have included this much. So you could give your comments below. Thanks for watching.